All right, back with another one. You would think I was addicted. 1996 Sea-Doo XP 800. She's all there. Got to get rid of the spray paint. I'm going to give her a wash. You know, you got to love when people leave the old tools in the floorboard. I'm going to show you how to get that off as well. I'm going to yank the turf off. All that factory, that factory rubber matting crap. I'm going to clean it up. And then we're going to get her running or see what's wrong with it. And then buff it. Just like the last video, like our like our wave blaster video, I'm gonna do the same thing. She's not too bad. She'll clean up. We got some spaceage here. All right, back here, day two. Got her cleaned up yesterday. Come to find out, I know why he sold her to me so cheap. She's a battery eater. She's eating batteries and quick. She put work in on both of those batteries right there. Work in, in about 10 minutes. But she's got, you know, she's there, you know, so. We're gonna um, we're gonna hook a juice. We're gonna juice her up and see where she's taking power. I hear VTS does it, uh, so I'm gonna try unplugging the VTS, see if it still has a draw. But when he sold it to me, he's like, "Oh well, I thought that the bogging issue might be this here." When the rectifiers go bad, they eat batteries. But this one doesn't look bad. People say that when they are burn up, they're burn up, but it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna pull the other one out. Well, we're gonna hook a battery to it, see how much draw it has. Then we're gonna go unplug the rectifier, see what happens from there. Over, now I have no spark, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the rectifier anyway, because I was in here checking the fuses, gonna check all my connections, and I'll get back with you when I find something out. Changed the rectifier, it was a cheapie. Got the E-Box put back in. I mean, it's not in neatly, but you know. Got it to stop drawing power now, so it's not eating batteries anymore, so that's problems fixed. I got the VTS hooked back up, even though it doesn't work. Pulled the plug, see. Seen how that was. Primed it with some fuel. Got the key in. Let's see what's up. That's all she does. Okay. Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. We haven't seen anything before. Let's check the plugs. Let's see what's up with that. Maybe there's some nasty shit in the bottom end. Couldn't get any fuel to the carbs. I even pressurized the tank. She had the gray fuel lines. These some bitches are hard, son. So get rid of them. I'm replacing them as we speak. And we should be good. The fuel selector. The fuel selector was clogged up as well.
that some gun runs good so far, I, I should say. Oh, now it's all right. So I needed some gas for the sea dew, and I just drowned myself trying to siphon it. So I got me a Razor 800 in tank pump, made me up some some jumper leads here. I'm just, I'm just gonna set her on in here. Blue's hot. Oh shit. Just killed the grass. Wouldn't be the only thing to kill the grass. Yeah. Way better than siphoning. My testing grounds. All right, back again. I was going to test it out. I dipped it in the water yesterday. It would have good power up until about half throttle or so. Everybody's saying, clean the carbs, clean the carbs, clean the carbs. The carbs have been clean. Fuel lines have been redone. Got rid of the green goo in the selector. Worst case scenario, I'll pull them back apart and see if anything got in the fuel filters, the little filters in the carbs. I remember to pull the rave valves apart and see if they're functioning correctly. See how this one moves, see the travel. Look at this one. You can already see where it used to travel. So yeah, you see, yesterday I showed how this rave valve doesn't travel as far as this one. We look down in the slot for the rave the cylinder is actually spun inside of, well, the sleeve is actually spun inside the cylinder. So I got to pull the exhaust manifold, the intake manifold, pull the cylinder off, heat it up. In part two, we'll be pulling all that apart, getting her running good. Subscribe if you haven't already. You're not going to want to miss the seat covers, turf, buffing all that stuff i'm doing to this one and the wave blaster too they'll be on their separate trailer i'm actually going to be polishing the trailer and everything so it's going to be hey it's actually going to be a really slick unit so stay tuned tell me how many times you've seen this all right all right see that perfect See, it's port matched. Look at that. Wow.